Hey there, quirky folks. Ezra Miller will not be The Flash anymore after his upcoming movie. Reports of WB axing him have surfaced after two years of constant controversies involving the actor. First, he was caught choking a woman on video a couple years back. Then recently, he got arrested twice in Hawaii within the last three months. And now he has been accused of grooming a 12-year-old child by supplying her alcohol. A career which could have been huge has just reached a dead end. It's like the guy just sees basic laws of humanity and tries to break every one of them. So naturally, the studio had to end their business with him. They've not made an official comment on it, but insiders have confirmed that he is out of the picture after 2023's The Flash. Well, if that's the case, then we could look at a potential list of actors who could replace him as The Flash. But before that, I'd love it if you guys would hit the subscribe button and support our channel. Okay now, the first name that would come to the minds of many is Grant Gustin. It has been almost nine years since Grant Gustin has been playing Barry Allen constantly. People have loved him as the Scarlet Speedster, and when The Flash was supposed to be cast in the DCEU, the fans campaigned for him to play the role. It is possible that The Flash Season 9 could be the last one for the long-running CW series. So maybe after that, he could pick up the role of Ezra Miller on the big screen. But it would be tough to explain, because Ezra Miller's Barry and the Arrow vs. Barry have come face to face with each other. So maybe season 9 could somehow lead Grant Gustin's Barry Allen into the DCEU. I guess that could be one way to explain the transfer. Or perhaps we should look at some fresh actors starting from Lucas Till. Whatever. You'd be surprised to know that many fans have wanted to see him as The Flash right from the beginning. He played Havoc in X-Men First Class, but his days of being one of the X-Men ended when Havoc died in X-Men Apocalypse. But now, the former X-Men star could finally get to be the leading man in the Flash sequels. Or if you don't prefer him, then maybe you could look at his brother from the X-Men franchise, Ty Sheridan. Nothing to be afraid of. What? <laughs> He played Cyclops in X-Men Apocalypse and X-Men Dark Phoenix, and we absolutely loved him in Ready Player One. He starred alongside Ben Affleck earlier this year in The Tender Bar, and I think he could be perfect for The Flash as well. He is just 25 years old and has got a potentially long career ahead of him, so maybe he could become Hollywood's next big A-lister by bagging the role of Barry Allen. Or perhaps I've got another perfect name in mind, and that's Dylan O'Brien. We don't belong here. Somebody built the maze. I think it's time we find out what we're really up against. Ever since the Maze Runner trilogy, Mr. O'Brien over here has not been able to break into any other major roles. That could change with The Flash. Rumors have suggested that he'd play Nightwing in the upcoming Batgirl movie. That's a cool casting choice too, but the actor himself denied these rumors. So if that's the case, then he could still be in play for The Flash. But the biggest name that DC could bag for the role is of Taron Egerton. Oh yes, very nice. Starring in the Kingsman franchise and playing other amazing roles like Eddie the Eagle and Elton John, Egerton has entered the League of Hollywood A-listers. People have been in support of him becoming MCU's Wolverine. But if that doesn't happen, then maybe he could end up being The Flash instead. I believe he would look perfect in The Flash suit. But if WB wants to go young, then they could even pick Timothy Chalamet. Dad, what is not the future of House Atreides? Currently, Hollywood has the hots for this guy. He was in contention to be Spider-Man. But ever since he lost the role to Tom Holland, he has been making it big with movies like Dune, The King, The French Dispatch, and many more. He is set to return as the lead in Dune Part 2. But along with that, WB could just bring him in as DCEU's new Barry Allen. Or they could try out another young guy like Tanner Buchanan. <laughs> He has been killing it in Netflix's Cobra Kai, but I believe that his serious talent could allow him to do wonders. He is just 23 years old for now, but by the time The Flash comes out and the role gets recast, he would be 25. So that would be the perfect age for him to play the part. Or if you're not satisfied with him too, then my final pick is Logan Lerman. 
I think I understand Poseidon. This guy has been trying his luck ever since the two Percy Jackson movies failed. He had something substantial in 2014's Fury. But so far, things haven't really gone his way. Maybe The Flash could change that. He is another pretty boy who could be perfect for the part, and I'd like to know what you guys think about him. Could he or any of the other names replace Ezra Miller as The Flash? Or do you guys have someone else in mind? Let us know in the comments, and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!